What's up, you guys? Welcome to my channel. This is your boy, Creative D. Will, your everyday creative dad. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Look, man, today I got a real simple video for you guys. Uh, my whole boy, Stacy P, also known as B Guy Stacy, a dope producer, just got his hands on the Machine Plus, like I got my hands on the Machine Plus, and he had a quick question that I thought would be an awesome video to do a video on. And that is how do you upload samples? All your own samples or your own sounds inside of machine plus right that's what you, that's what you got this thing for you got this thing so you can be mobile you can upload your own samples and you can produce on the go so that's what we're going to talk about today how do you upload your own samples or own sounds inside the machine plus so without further ado let's go ahead and get started and let's get creative you yeah. So look, man, we got the Machine Plus right here, and we're gonna just take a look at how to upload samples inside the Machine Plus. So first things first, you wanna put this thing in what is called, uh, um, right now, it's, I think it's in standalone mode, but we, we need to connect it um, inside the computer or storage mode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, I hit settings, I'm already on system, but you need to navigate by using this jog wheel over to system, and you need to hit storage. And what that does is it will make the SD card available on your computer. And that is how you're going to um, upload different sounds and everything like that. Machine the um, Machine Plus has a slot on the side right here. I think it comes with a 64 gig um, SD card, but uh, you can expand that up to, I think, a terabyte or two terabytes. I think it's one terabyte, but not sure. Look on machine site. They, don't quote me. So what you want to do is once you get into settings, you go to system, you want to hit storage, um, then you hit OK. And right now it's going to connect to my computer. So I'm going to switch over here to my actual computer. All right. So I have when, whenever I hit that storage button on inside the machine, then this screen popped up right here. These two folders popped up. I'm using a PC. So it automatically popped up. I'm pretty sure if you're using a Mac, it'll do the same things. I have downloads and then I have native instruments. So downloads is just typically whenever you are um, adding different sounds and everything, uh, like your expansion packs, it has to download and, and all in store right here. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. All right, native instruments. You want to click on native instruments. And this is all of your content inside of... Um, inside of your, your your i guess it's your um your sd card so i have about a 500 gig so you can see i got a lot of different expansions but what you want to do is you want to go down to user content user content is where you're going to store all of your content now keep in mind with the with the um with the machine plus you only have like uh, uh, a certain amount of hierarchy of, of of folders that you could put in so for instance i go over here to cymatics you see that i got a cymatics that's one folder then i got 808s then i got all of my 808s in that in that um inside of uh uh this folder now if i go back over here to like a Vi viper pack right and you go to bases, you go to 808s, you go to long and short. Now you don't want to do that, have this folder hierarchy like this. You want to have only like two folders that you can go into kind of structure like this. And reason being is because machine doesn't allow you to go that deep into uh, the folder hierarchy. So uh, I hope they fix that. But anyway, all you got to do is just do what I did here. I came in and I just put all of my 808s, all of my bass guitars, all of my buildups into like one folder with this uh, with this Cymatics kit. So, um, and what if you want to add different sounds, what you got to do is you got to go down here to user content and you need to drag and drop any sound. So say for example, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna open up another folder and I'm gonna add splice, right? Boom. Oh, let me do file explorer. There we go. Goodness gracious, that's what happens when you got so much stuff open. All right, so right now I'm in my splice folder, right? So I want to add a splice sample to this, to this, um, uh, to my user content folder. So I'm gonna go over here to music loops and I got bass, boom. So we're just gonna add this right here, drag and drop it, and boom, it's that simple. Once I drag and drop it, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect out of the, um, out of the machine from my computer disconnected and the, to do that all you gotta do is come over here hit that disconnect button move this right here and when i go back into alrighty, so now that lets me know that it was disconnected and i'm gonna come back over here to browser and i'm already on it but all you got to do is just click over here let me get out of user content 
So like one shots, right? I'm in one shots. When you go to it, it'd be in browser. And you go to one shots. This is how you browse your different um, sounds, loops, instruments, and everything like that. So you want to hit browser. You want to come over here. I'm in one shots. Then I want to go to use uh, user. And then I'll come over here to user content. And that is that folder that you see right here. I added base. base and now all that that bass sample is loaded right there. Oh, let me go back. I'm in a different folder. Boom. That bass sample that I added is loaded right there. And to load it inside of the uh the machine plus, all you got to do is just click on it and hit load. You can't I can't I can't hear it because um I don't have it connected. You can't hear it cuz I don't have it connected, but rest assured it did load. It is on the machine plus. And it's that simple, man. It's really not that complicated. So, that's pretty much it, man. Um, that was a short, little, simple video. I just wanted to to, to go through that because uh, when I first got the Machine Plus, I didn't know how to do it. And my homeboy hit me up and he asked a dope question. I was just like, you know what? Maybe other people will benefit from this. So that's how you load samples inside the Machine Plus, man. It's very simple. It's easy to get started. And once you figure that out, man, it's smooth selling from there. So you guys be awesome. If you like this video, then please hit that thumbs up. Hit the uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Until next time, keep being creative and don't let anybody stop you from doing what it is you want to do in life. Deuces!